I've got two each of Madison's Cross and Early Prolific and I wanted you to see the difference. We're going to do a comparison as they grow. Eventually these two are going to be crossed to make Madison's Choice. So Madison's Cross and which Madison's Choice will be a hybrid of the two obviously but this is uh, Madison's Choice or excuse me Madison's Cross and this is Early Prolific and you can see that Early Prolific is a bigger stouter plant at least for the moment it is and um, here's my hand for reference on the leaves and the growth and um, I'll see if I can bring them a little closer so you can kind of get a glance of what they look like and um, we'll do this regularly we'll compare the two all right let's do a comparison now these first nine that go all the way up to that uh, cut right there are early prolific. I'll show you what they look like. There are some babies attempting. Right here is the last one. It looks like the best one too. It's nice and green. Now we're getting into Madison's Cross. There's the first one. Okay, well, in the beginning, you can kind of see what they look like here. In the beginning, early prolific was a more aggressive, a little bigger plant. But now, you can see here, that one. Now, you can see it's at least caught up with, uh, with the early prolific. So, we'll see how the fruit development goes. Here's an early prolific. It's got two squash on it that I'm gonna harvest there. And I just, here's one next to it. And I just wanna show you for a comparison the difference between this one and, and uh, Madison's Cross. I'll show you that in a second. And this is a Madison's Cross plant. It's about the same size actually. But you can see the difference between the two quite clearly. This thing is a machine. Um, yeah, it's like that on every stinking plant. It's just a machine. I want to show you. I passed up that male flower over there. I got another male flower here. This is really important when you have a machine. You need the pollinator. And this makes plenty of male squash as well. Flowers to pollinate them with. Let's do a side by side of squash that are similar in size. This is the early prolific. It is, it tends to be long and a little skinnier than Madison's Cross. And Madison's Cross has these little ridges. They're actually on there when they're little babies even. Uh, so that's what they look like about the same length here. And um, actually early prolific is probably a shade bit longer. But we're going to cut them open. We're going to look at the insides. I'd actually done this a couple, three years ago, testing the squash as I went along, just to make sure that I was on track for keeping what I desired in the squash. Um, so I called it line one back then, but now it's renamed obviously to Madison's Cross. But take a look at the seed cavity. It's here kind of goes around here and the seeds are really small really small and there's a lot of meat in this squash that is not surrounded I mean it's dense quality meat it's not surrounded 
by seeds or a seed cavity. And the seed cavity is a little pulpy. See it, the way it pushes in like that? And this is early prolific. And this is an example. And this is the way early prolific always is. If you let it go a few more days, these seeds, the seed cavity gets to a point where it's not worth keeping the squash anymore uh, because it just gets too, um, it loses a lot of its qualities and taste. So that's the difference between Madison's Cross and Early Prolific as far as what it looks like on the inside. Now let's consider productivity. Over here on the right we have the Early Prolific. It's got five squash, and these are the first five squash off of the plants this year. And uh, out of five squash off of nine plants. Now I planted more Madison's Cross because I wanted, you know, to get the final seed uh, quantities and I wanted to cross it with Early Prolific. So Madison's Cross, I've got 19 squash, 19 squash off of 16 plants. So that's better than one squash per plant uh, in the harvest. And this one's five out of nine. So that's about half, a little more than half. So that's that goes to production. This is also the second uh, harvest off of Masson's Cross. So before Early Prolific ever put any on, Masson's Cross had already been harvested. And in fact, we got so much, I, I want to say we got about 12. I don't quite remember. I did a video on it. But we got quite a few off of that too. And this, this Masson's Cross is just a machine. It is just a machine. Harvest today. We got 10 Masson's Cross and from 16 plants and two from nine plants of early prolific. This is a Madison's cross and side shooting. You can see here this main stem and this is a, I guess you'd call a side shoot. It's vining, <coughs> excuse me, breaking off the main stem and growing another vine here and it's doing a little bit here and this is very common in um, in Madison's Cross. Now I've seen it in Early Prolific and a little bit in others. Occasionally it's pretty rare, but in Madison's Cross it's common. This is pretty typical of Madison's Cross versus Early Prolific and the others. You got three out of uh, three edible size squash out of nine plants. So that's one third produced today. Uh, one squash for every three plants. Anyway, I've got uh, what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we have fourteen squash out of sixteen plants so that's uh, that's a higher percentage of production per plant all right I've got some of the older examples of both Madison's cross and early prolific this is Madison's cross it's got the little ridges as usual early prolific's got the bumps and these are a little bit older, um, a little bit past what most people would consider good for eating. And then these are a good bit past. And I wanted to open them up to show you uh, the difference between the two since I'm crossing these two to make a hybrid. So first, let's take this one here and let's cut it down the middle and take a look at it. Yeah. yeah, more in the middle here. Okay, not exactly in the middle, but pretty close. And you can see here, this is what Masson's Cross looks like. The seeds are still, let me get it in the camera here, the seeds are still pretty small, and the flesh is still nice and wet and very, very good for eating even at this biggest stage. And I'd say this is about eight inches. All right, so now let's open up an early prolific and take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, this is early prolific. You can see the seed cavity is quite a bit bigger. Let me see if I can get some seeds to 
so you can kind of see what they look like. They look to be about the same size, it's just the seed cavity is bigger. breeding here. A whole lot less seeds, a whole lot less in comparison between the two. You can kind of see the difference. While I'm out, still got seeds going on here in this one. Then mine. Anyway, it's a good comparison. It kind of shows you the difference between the two. Let's see if you're still on the camera here. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at another one. Just so we can see that it's not pertaining to one unique squash. All right. There's another. Madison's Cross. And an early prolific. Hopefully I don't cut a finger in front of you while we're filming. This one's a little bit harder to get into. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, see the seeds in this one are a little bigger even. In comparison. All right. So you kind of see those two. The quality is different. Now let's take a look at two older ones. We get going here. Early prolific is, it grows a little larger, I think overall okay this is an even more mature squash it's starting to get dry in there now you kind of see the difference between this one that's kind of what makes it difficult to uh, work with. See, it's got tons of seeds, which is good if you're saving seeds. But when you're eating, you want less seeds. So let's take a look at this really mature Madison's Cross. And you can see even, even at a, a lot darker color and a bigger stage, the seeds are still smaller cavity in the mount. So I just wanted to expound on that a little bit on the differences between the two and uh, anyway we'll keep going. I think the cross between the two should uh, in hopefully increase production and bring some classic taste from early prolific. That's a, a big favorite of a lot of people into uh, any Madison's Cross will hopefully improve it in most areas. Anyway, it should be a good hybrid. We're going to grow them out and see. The squash bugs really like this early prolific. And I know that uh, even though there's no squash bugs, there's a little bitty one right there, even though there's no squash bugs on the plant itself, right here on the stem, I can shake these leaves and they're gonna fall and then I'm gonna spray them and I'm gonna show you what happens um, these leaves are this well there's a squash bug right there they're like this because of the squash bugs and um, and you can see the effect of it here now there's a seed squash on here and that also zaps the plant energy quite a bit because it thinks it's nearly done but the majority of the damage is caused by those squash bugs so I'm gonna shake the plant keep recording and show you what happens all right 
right, there's quite a bit of them. They're, thank goodness they're all coming back to the plant. Here's early prolific, I mean the uh, Madison's Cross as I promised. And here's the plant and you can see it is still trying to pump out babies like crazy. They do have ants on them. So I just want to shake it just so you can see there are no squash bugs on any of these plants. Squash bugs, I mean, rarely ever. They're like, they, I think they stop by on their way to the early prolifics. So that's an unexpected um, treasure find for Madison's Cross. Beautiful little squash. Love everything about this squash. All right, we're in my kitchen. And I've got the two seed squash for Madison's Choice. And uh, on the right, this is an early prolific squash plant that was bred. The, the pollen was taken from Madison's Cross and uh, the female was from early prolific. And this is also um, the same Madison's Choice but the mother plant was Madison's Cross and I took the pollen from Early Prolific and pollinated Madison's Cross with it. The seed within both of these, even though they're from two different plants, are a cross between each other. So um, you've got Early Prolific and a Madison's Cross that have been um, pollinated by the opposite plant. Now I'm gonna grow these out and I'm gonna observe the behaviors. I'm gonna grow some of these out, the seed from in here and the seed from in here and I'm going to observe the differences if there is any at all and uh, I'm not dead certain but I think the mother plant will impart um, a little more than the pollen donor but I'm not certain on that so that's why I'm doing that test here so this is I want more of these genetics than these genetics from early prolific so we'll see what happens and I'm going to come up and I'll show you what they look like and that's what it looks like cut open well that wraps up this video if you guys enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe in order to subscribe all you got to do is click the button here we'll put a check mark next to it if you want to get notification the next time i make a video click on the bell here check here and hit save you guys take care.